Bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Mexico City. Good morning, country collectors. We hope you're ready to soak up some nature because today we are continuing our Mexico City series here in Bosque de Chapultepec, Mexico City's largest park. It's twice the size of New York City's Central Park and even has a castle in it. We can't wait to show you around, but before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Let's do this. From where we're staying in Roma Norte, Chapultepec Forest is about a 30 minute walk, but instead of doing that, we are gonna take these eco Eco there. Eco BC is Mexico City's public bike system. It's fun, affordable, and convenient as there are stations all over the city where you can pick up a bike. I will admit it was a bit confusing at first figuring out the process, but we found a blog post that walked us through everything that I will link in the description down below. And make sure to download the Eco BC app that'll show you up to date information on where the stations are and how many bikes are available. Well, that was really easy. It's too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have our bikes, let's hit the road. You can rent Eco BC for one, two, or seven days or get an annual plan. We rented them for just one day and it cost us 118 pesos each. The only catch is you can only have the bikes out for 45 minutes or less at a time, which means you need to watch the clock. If you exceed the free usage time limit, you do get charged. And remember, you're driving around on busy streets. Yes. They have a bike lane, but you still have to follow all traffic laws. Yes, we want you to be safe. Just north of Roma Norte through Colonia Juarez, you will run into Avenida Paseo de la Reforma, which which is one of the main streets running through Mexico City. This is where you'll find the famous statue of the Angel of Independence, which commemorates Mexico's independence. Halo, beautiful. <laughs> and if you happen to be in Mexico City on a Sunday, make sure to head down here as they close this entire road from 8 until 2 p.m. for joggers, cyclists, rollerbladers. There's even some dancing going on. <laughs> it is a must do. Everyone's out and about enjoying their time. All right, let's keep going. Right, we are finished with our bikes for now and I don't think there are any Eco BC stations inside the park so we're gonna return them right here outside the park and it's really easy all you have to do is find an available slot with a green glowing light and then you put in the bike just like this and then you're gonna go to the kiosk and put in your six digit code and then your four digit password and it'll be returned if you do want to rent another bike you just have to wait two minutes and then you're all set all right let's head to the park Looks like we made it! Behind me here is the main gate of Chapultepec Park, the Gate of the Lion. But right now it seems to be more of the Gate of the Grasshopper. But that makes sense because Chapultepec is the indigenous word for on the hill of the grasshoppers, which refers to the sacred Chapultepec hill that is inside. Let's go see if we can find it. And right when you enter, they have these big signs that point you to all the main attractions. At all. And all over the park here, there are squirrels. And oh my gosh, they must be really used to human presence because this doesn't normally happen. Wow. Careful, you don't have food, it might bite you. He knew I was just faking. He can sense when you have food just like me. <laughs> like a statue right here. I <laughs> got me. What do you do? He just gave me a little claw. <laughs> There's another cheeky guy coming over here. <laughs> I don't have anything. No. <laughs> oh my God. I wouldn't necessarily recommend reaching out to the squirrels like that, but I'm a risk taker, people. <laughs> this park is absolutely massive, spanning over 1,700 acres. It has a lot of attractions, such as lakes, museums, a zoo, and even a castle. This park is so huge, it's been divided into three sections. Today, we're gonna be exploring the first part, which is the oldest and most visited. First stop, Chapultepec Castle. Let's go. And it looks like they're having a temporary art exhibit that's dedicated to the photography of insects, which might make sense about that giant grasshopper that's outside the front. These are really cool. Oh, 
All over the park you'll actually see receptacles like this for recycling inorganic and organic waste. It's really great and that's how they help to keep this place so clean. Another cool thing about the park is as you come in you will find these placards that tell you about the flora, fauna, insects, fish, anything that you're going to see in the park, you can check it out right here. It looks like they're just starting to set up all of the little food stands so we're going to have to come back here and grab a snack in a little bit. Behind me here is the mini castle ticket booth that you go in to buy your tickets before you head up to the actual castle. The tickets were 85 pesos each, and then you just go head up the hill. Come along. And it's open Tuesday through Sunday, nine to five. We have already walked a lot today just in this park. So make sure you're wearing good shoes, bring water, wear sunscreen, and bring a hat. We care about you. <laughs> And this walk up here is absolutely stunning. We're just getting to the entrance and it already looks grand. Wow, this is really special. And just a little fact, this castle was the only castle in North America that actually housed royalty. Pretty neat stuff. And if anything looks familiar here, this was also the movie location of the blockbuster hit William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. How fun is that? Very. Chapultepec Castle is located here on Chapultepec Hill. Over history, this site has served many functions. It was a sacred place for the Mexica people. It's also housed royalty and presidents and right now is home to the National Museum of History. Let's go inside. Wow, check out these murals. My mind has been blown like 12 times since we went inside <laughs> here. There is so much to see and it really feels like you're walking through history. We just saw the carriages that Maximilian and Benito Juarez rode in. They have galleries in here. They have an exhibition celebrating the 200 years of the Mexican armadas and their navy. I just can't wait to see what else they have. And on top of all of it, check out this view. Take the time to really absorb this green space here. It is a forest surrounded by city. It's absolutely incredible. We just found my favorite room in the entire castle, the dining room. You know, this is where you would find him. And right here you can see the smoking and drinking room here in the castle. This reminds me of Bridgerton. Right down here you can see this monument. This is called the Altar a la Pretria, also known as the Monument to the Boy Heroes, which was built to commemorate the lives of six cadets, ages ranging 13 to 18, who unfortunately died defending the castle during the Mexican-American War. Wow, this just keeps getting better and better. Check out these gardens. Oh my goodness. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'd keep my little princess Heidi right up there in the tower. <laughs> Here comes the Viceroy now. Wow. <laughs> Have housekeeping let us know when our room is made up, please. <laughs> This entire castle is like a never ending treasure hunt, but you don't even know what you're looking for. Everything just like pops out here and there. It is so much fun. And just off that main square with the garden is this incredible stained glass hallway. You have got to check it out. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> I swear I had no idea. I, I mean, I thought it was gonna be like ornate and a little decadent, but nowhere near I mean, this. we have castles in New Jersey. They are not like this. <laughs> I think my favorite part was maybe walking through the stained glass hallway there or looking into the room, seeing where Maximilian and his wife Charlotte would stay. These gardens are really special too. Yeah, so definitely come here, come to the castle when you are in the park, but we are running a little late. <laughs> Always running out of time. <laughs> so we are gonna run or walk quickly over to the zoo, so come along. Definitely get here early because it starts to get real busy and it kind of loses a little bit of that magic when it's packed. Before we head to the zoo, we need to grab a little snack because I am feeling low and right here there are a ton of vendors right outside the exit to the castle. Let's go see what we can find. All right, so we've been seeing signs for Dory Locos or Crazy Doritos all over since we got here, and I'm gonna try one out. All right, let's see what this entails. <laughs> so it looks like it's basically just a bunch of stuff yeah. inside this bag of Doritos here. We already have carrots, cucumbers, jicama, and what's this? Oh my gosh, peach rings. You know I love my peach gummy rings. Are these gummy sharks? Yes, those sure look like Gomias Tiburon. Gummy sharks. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna go with a little picante salsa in there. Because what's life without a little spice? Exactamente. Oh yeah, my sharks are now swimming in spice. <laughs> what's this? 
Ooh, I have no idea. This is just like a mystery bag. <laughs> I'm really excited, but this is definitely crazy. Tahin? Okay. Yeah, Let's <laughs> throw some tahin in there. I mean, it already has everything else. Just to top it off. Oh, yeah. Cacahuates. Let's cacahuates this. Oh wow, that is gosh. a lot of cacahuates. <laughs> so when I ordered the Dori Locos, I knew it was gonna be crazy, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this crazy. Look at all those toppings on there. Absolutely insane. I mean, it weighs like three pounds. <laughs> I don't even know what else he put in here, but I'm a little apprehensive, but I'm gonna jump into this and I hope you're gonna stick around for it. Yeah, let's see this. Oh my goodness, that's a peach ring a peach with ring salsa. With salsa and a peanut in the middle and a piece of carrot. This is just, just bite number one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Did you break your tooth? I wasn't expecting that crunch. This is one of the most crazy taste mixes I've ever had. I wonder if people actually enjoy it or just get it for like the novelty. You know what? I'm gonna, I don't even know where the Doritos are. <laughs> Let's get one of these gummy sharks in here. And this costs 50 pesos or two and a half dollars. Mmm, totally different flavor profile on that one. <laughs> that one was way more sweet with some spice on the aftertaste. Definitely uh, worth the experience. I'm getting a Dorito in here though. There you go. Mm, there well, we go. Well-rounded meal here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hola. All right, Adam is on standby with the water. I have constructed a bite with a little bit of everything on it. You can see that gummy shark on top. Well, here goes nothing. Or everything. <laughs> <laughs> Not my bag. <laughs> well, that is your bag. <laughs> no, it's your bag. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that flavor out of your mouth. I'm sure some people enjoy it. Just not my cup of tea. <laughs> All right, let's go get some other food. Ice cream's always safe, so we got a couple of them. <laughs> Needed something to cool you down after that Dori Loco. <laughs> exactly, let's head to the zoo. Right in the center here is a lake. You can see they have some paddle boats out there. We're definitely gonna come back and do this after the zoo. <laughs> oh, you know we are. <laughs> so stay tuned. And yet another place in Mexico City that offers free Wi-Fi to everyone. I know this is a place you probably came to disconnect, but it's nice to know that you can connect if you need to. Let's keep going. This right here is a nice looking bag of cotton candy. This right here is a me looking bag of cotton candy. <laughs> a big bag? A huge bag. Look at this, it's giant. <laughs> All right, let's focus. The zoo's right ahead. Okay, fine, but we're coming back here later. And look at these, they have little cards you can put your children in if you want to push them around if they get too tired. That's great. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the zoo we go. The zoo in Chapultepec Park. The Chapultepec Zoo is free to enter. How cool is that? And here they have over 200 species of animals. I don't know how many we're gonna get to see today, but I really hope to see some giraffes and pandas. So let's go try to find them. So it's free to come into the zoo. But they do have some extras that you can do, like go to the Mariposaria or the Butterfly House. It's 70 pesos and that also admits you to the Insectarium as well. Up, oh, there's bamboo. There must be a panda nearby. I hope so. By the looks of it, we are close. Hopefully they're not sleeping as it is midday. They might be taking a siesta, but let's go see. Look at this little guy. He's laying in a hammock. He's so cute. It's almost unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> My day is made. How cute is this panda over here hanging out in his hammock? He's got his arms above his head. I totally get you because that's exactly how I sleep too. And Adam wanted me to say, what a panda-tastic day. <laughs> yes, nice one, babe. All right, let's go find those giraffes. <laughs> I don't know if he's a good sharer. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a shot. This one's got a crowd. They got some grizzly bears. Wow, there's two of them right down there. Look at that, they're kissing. That's so very cute. <laughs> Seems like we're on the right track. Looks like we're going to Africa. And I think it's just so cool how you can see all the buildings through the forest here. They really do a great job. Like we're in the middle of a city I know. and this zoo is so nice and it's free. Amazing. <laughs> Leave it to Adam. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Behind me here are Gemsbach. They are one of my favorites when we go on safari to spot. We cannot wait for the day that we can take you to the African continent. It is life changing. 
To our right right here are zebra, so I think we're getting close. I really hope so. I love a good giraffe. Look. Oh wow. Check them out right behind me. Oh man, this is spectacular. This zoo is just incredible. Oh, look who's going down to the watering hole. That zoo was honestly so great. And we know on the topic of zoos, you know, it can be a very sore subject. You wanna see animals out in the wild and not in captivity, but then there's that whole other conservation aspect to it. Most people in the world are not gonna to go to mm -hmm. Africa and see a giraffe or any of these animals here. And this is a great opportunity for people to raise their awareness, mm -hmm. to get more conservation efforts. I'm not a huge fan of going to aquariums, but you know what? An aquarium is the reason why I fell in love with the ocean and the animals and why I went to school to become a marine biologist so this could be your next conservationist this could be your next animal biologist these kids that are here being amazed by these wonderful animals and inside a lot of you know it looked really nice and it looked like the animals were being well taken care of the enclosures were large and it seemed like they had lots of shade which is really important yeah well what do you say we get off our feet and go ahead to that lake and get in a paddle boat i love that idea <laughs> come along and right outside of the exit to the zoo there is a giant beautiful merry-go-round it's not on right now but people are just loading up. It's a double decker. I've never seen one it like is. that. It looks like a Cinderella's magical fantasy one. <laughs> it's just such a wonderful place for families to come down, have some picnics, just enjoy the park in the center of the city. Relax. There's some big playground over here. The kids are hanging out on. They're actually all over the place. And I think there's a zip line right over there as well. Ooh. And it looks like they have some great little restaurants over here in case you get hungry. And you know I'm hungry. Always. <laughs> Wow, look at these bubble makers. Ooh. We keep seeing these monkeys everywhere on people's heads. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. I guess when you squeeze the little hand pump, the tail goes up and down like this. You should get one. I should get one. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it even shoots some water. Okay, it shoots water nice. out of it. That's awesome. That's very cool. I see why everyone's wearing them. Yeah. Ooh, I see the lake right ahead. Yes, ma'am. This artificial lake is one of many bodies of water here in the park, but the only one where you can take these paddle boats. And it was actually built on a filled in mining site. But what's not artificial is our love for our new patrons. Douglas, Tania, Lisa, Kaz. Renato, Bex, and Alex. Thank you so, so much for your contributions. You really make all the difference for us and we appreciate you. Yes, we do. And you can even hear those birds squawking a little bit saying, thank you very much. They're singing your praises. <laughs> yes. If you would like to join our Patreon community, we will put the link in the description below. All right, let's go get a boat. Oh my gosh, and look at all these fish right here. There are so many, and it looks like they're just waiting for food, which they are. So it looks like there's a bunch of different docks as you go farther down that have all different types of boats, but you know the one that I want. Go big or go home. The swan. That's right. <laughs> of course. It looks like there's a huge line here, but that's actually for the boats for three, four, or five people. There's a one and two person line that's right here. Let's go get in it. Dun dun dun. So, <laughs> it I was seemed too good to be true, right? Uh, I was just informed that normally there is a separate line for one or two people, but today there's only one line for everyone. So I just don't think we're going to have the time. There's like 75 to 100 people in line right now. I mean, it just keeps going and going too. So when you come, my guess is if you come early in the morning, there's going to be less people in line and it looks like a ton of fun. So if you come, get a swan and let us know how much fun it was for you. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's keep going. We still got a lot more fun to have. Let's do it. Don't look, don't look. There's the swan. Oh, <laughs> they look pretty cool though. They do. Well, we have one more stop today. It is the National Anthropology Museum here in Mexico City. We hear it is a must do and I cannot wait to check it out. Let's go. And right now we are actually still in the park. Avenida Paseo de Reforma actually runs through the center of it. This place is enormous. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. I can't be sure, but this is probably a good indication that we made it. And I have to admit, my dogs are barking. We have walked so much <laughs> yes. today, but it doesn't feel like it because there yeah. was so much to see and so much beauty all around but us. Just be prepared when you come here for a lot of walking. The Museum of Anthropology is the most visited museum in Mexico and is home to some of the largest collections of pre-Columbian 
Colombian artifacts. I'm really excited for this. Let's head in. Wow, right in front of us is this huge waterfall fountain. It is absolutely gorgeous, but before we get to that, we got in free and that's because we got here after 3 30 it closes at 5 if you get here any earlier it is 80 pesos but we recommend you get here a lot earlier because this place is absolutely massive it spans over 20 acres and has 23 exhibitions so we're not going to be able to cover even a little bit of it today but we're going to try to show you as much as we can so come along here it is. You know I'm a sucker for a good fountain and this is one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. I think I'm gonna go run through it right now. <laughs> no, you're not. If you saw our Teaching Needs video, you'll remember that they had these ball courts there. They're actually all over Mesoamerica. This was one of those games they played that was life and death, and they believed that the people that won would be sacrificed and go straight into heaven. It's so cool to think that this was one that was actually used. This is incredible. I can't believe how close you can actually get to all of these artifacts. And the closer you look at so many of these pieces, you'll notice details that tell stories and the history of these people. It is just so incredible. Wow. <laughs> that was just our first exhibit and totally blown away. I honestly recommend coming here your first day to learn about a lot of the history from this region. And definitely leave yourself a whole day because it just seems absolutely worth it. It's so gorgeous and that was just one stop. What you want from me? Absolutely impressive. You must come here when you are in Mexico City. I've been to a lot of museums in the world mm -hmm. and this one is probably the best I've ever experienced. Yeah, and we are in our 13th state here in Mexico City and I feel like it was just like this like snapshot or culmination of like our whole trip so far in Mexico, going from the Yucatan, you know, through Tabasco, down to the coast and then up in central Mexico, showing all the artifacts from the different indigenous groups. It really tied it all together. Yeah. And it wasn't just artifacts. They actually mm -hmm. had human remains in there. Mm -hmm. There was art, there were carvings. It just, it really <laughs> hit home for me. Yeah, I can't wait to come. We're definitely gonna come back. <laughs> yes, we are. You need a lot of time here, so make sure to plan for that. And something we recommend is downloading Google Translate on your phone. There are some placards that are in Spanish and English, but the smaller ones are just in Spanish. So you can put your phone right up to them and then it can translate that for you. Well, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye to you. The worst part of the day. It is. It's always tough to say goodbye to friends. But how amazing is Bosque de Chapultepec? I mean, to have this huge green lung in the center of a city that's replenishing the oxygen here in the Valley of Mexico. It's so cool, and we barely scratched the yes. surface. There's still two other sections of the park that we haven't even seen, so if you get to them, please let us know how they are. And even right here in this one, there's still a botanical garden, there's a museum of modern art, there's the house of the lake. It's crazy. There's so so much but we hope that this video gave you like an overall glimpse of what you can do and see here so yeah we are so happy that you came along it would have been nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't been here to share it with us if you enjoyed this video please give us a big thumbs up comment subscribe and don't forget to ling 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 the bell we'll see you next time adios